uh, namaskaram uh, this poem was written um, on the uh, buddha purnima that is the date day of birth of gautama the buddha uh, so before i came to the isha for many years i was a buddhist meditator and i went very intensively and extensively into the buddhist way of teachings and practices and so on but uh, there is always uh, this kind of pitfall where many people misunderstood buddha that is what i've seen in general uh, but at the same time uh, you know i don't think like uh, there is any other being in the world who is more <laughs> you know profound than buddha and his teachings and so on and it what baffles not only the meditators but the entire scientific uh, research community as well so this poem goes like this simply be buddha is a possibility he is not to be worshiped if your consciousness flowers to full potential you are a buddha if you ask something from him whether peace or happiness from him you are actually mocking him this means you don't know him but there is all about responsibility taking charge of everything from survival to happiness from mundane to ultimate one an interdependent person can become buddha who knows my existence is not only my doing yet also knows my experience of life is all my doing when you are fast asleep you are mara when you are awakened you are buddha you cannot become buddha by effort but in effortlessness in being you are a buddha shambho so if some of you do not know like uh, what is mara mara is basically uh, taken as a lord of the samsara so basically uh, you can consider as very similar to maya or our own mind so for a practitioner mara is basically our own mind that is creating lot of illusions and uh, when you wake up from that one you become a buddha namaskar